Hey guys, back on the Alcan Highway going to Alaska. Um, today we are, uh, we've just headed out of Whitehorse, uh, Canada, and we're heading north. Uh, this is the Alcan. Uh, it's March 1st, so uh, you can probably see behind me and on the road here there's lots of snow off the road. Uh, but you can also see the condition of the road. Uh, it's pretty smooth, pretty dry. We have not run into any sections of the road so far that are not unpaved or are in really bad repair. Um, nothing of that so far. Um, on the video from last night, you probably saw that we ran into some snow. <clears throat> so we did have that happening uh, for, I, I would say we probably drove through an hour to two hours worth of snow yesterday. Um, didn't ha it wasn't real slick or anything like that, so it was fine. You know, we were driving for around 60 miles an hour, but uh, it did make it a little hard to see because it was fresh snow or it was snowing as we were driving. In some cases, it was kind of hard to see where the lines were, but we could tell where the road was by the by the uh, snow banks on the side of the road. So we knew we were okay. It wasn't real slick, um, but it's sort of unnerving not knowing where the center line is. So anyway, um, we'll let you know um, if there's any other you know, bad road conditions or unpaved conditions, and we'll take videos of it. But you can see this is real smooth. I mean, there's actually no no vibration at all. And we're way up right now. I mean, White Horse is way, way, way north. Um, if there was any sections of road that were unpaved on this drive to Canada, I would expect this to be it, because our next stop will be about eight hours from here. It'll be Toke, uh, Toke Alaska. Uh, but at that point in time, we'll be in Alaska. So if, if we're gonna run into something rough, it should, it should be today. Um, Yesterday, I think the only thing that I may have failed to mention on the video yesterday is um, there was one, or in that Muncha Lake Park area, when there was snow, they had put down so much uh, gravel, you can probably hear a little bit of it get kicked up by the tires right now, but they had put down so much of that gravel and cinder that um, the road almost, almost seemed like a dirt road because there was just so much cinder, but it was actually paved and smooth, uh, but it was just, you know, had enough ice and stuff, they put a bunch of that junk down, so that was kind of, kind of gross. But other than that, like I say, well, uh, my guess is we're probably not going to run into any unpaved sections or you know, the dry, or the, not dry heaves, but ice heaves that uh, we've heard about or, you know, big bumps. Um, so, uh, so far much better than what we expected. Um, <clears throat> yesterday was a very desolate section of road. I mean, uh, we drove, gosh, from Watson Lake all the way to, uh, all the way to Whitehorse with virtually no, at least at this time of year, uh, no gas stations open or anything like that, which that was a long drive. Um, and I, I know some of those gas stations are open during the summer, but uh, during the winter they are closed, so it's kind of a long section without filling up. But we made it in one tank, it was about 300 miles, 311 miles. So, all right, we'll keep you up to date.